Hi students, I hope you're doing well. Um, we are gearing up for another week in English 111. I wanted to run a couple things by you, uh, just some reminders. Um, first, I want to reiterate my homework policy. Um, please remember there is no late work on homework assignments. Um, the only time that I'm willing to uh, consider an extension is if there is an unforeseen immediate emergency, a death in the family, someone's hospitalized in your immediate family, um, you've been in a car accident, something that is extreme where um, it was totally out of your control. Um, some of you are submitting work late and then I'm getting an email of, oh, sorry, I was busy this week. And um, it, those are just gonna receive zeros. I, I have to do that to be fair um, and just create equity across the board. Um, and so I just wanna reiterate that, um, that policy on my syllabus. Um, the next thing is we are leaving our profile essay and we are coming into the cause and effect essay. This is our third essay for the semester. Um, I will hopefully have your profile essays graded by the end of this week. Um, remember, I do have on my syllabus to give me 10 days for that with fall break coming up. I am going out of town this weekend. Um, so if I don't get those done before, then I will get those done um, following the break. So this week, uh, we are going to be talking about your cause and effect essay. We're going to be diving into that. You're going to have a discussion board as well. Um, your outline is going to be due the 17th, but if you watch this lecture and um, you want to complete it before the weekend so that you can enjoy an extended fall break, um, then that's great. You're welcome to do that. Next week uh, is very light because of fall break. Uh, you'll have a homework journal. And the one thing that I am going to require is that every single student um, has a Zoom meeting with me. So if you want to start emailing me and giving me three times that would work for you on October 20th, 21st, and 22nd, um, that would be great. If you are somebody who um, nights are the only time that works for you, let me know and I will accommodate some of those needs. But every student is going to be required to either have a Zoom or a phone conference with me at some point in time. And then the next week is our draft week. So uh, it's kind of light this week and next week, just in light of fall break. Um, but then it'll really gear up after that um, as we do our rough draft and then we go on to our next essay. So without further ado, uh, let's jump into the cause and effect essay. Uh, this is your handout, which is gonna be located in course reading and materials. In the past few weeks, we have unpacked the question, who am I and who do I want to become? We have considered our lives at 90 years old and we wrote down the eulogy we desired at our funeral. We've looked into the lives of those around us, people that we wish to mirror, and we captured the essence of why we want to become more like those individuals. Now we are shifting into this deeper message, one that causes us to ask ourselves, if this is the person I want to become, then how do I attempt to get to that place? You can also frame this in another way. If I choose to live this kind of life, what effect am I going to have on the world? So let's talk about what a cause and effect essay is. The purpose of a cause and effect essay in writing. It is often considered human nature to ask why and how. We want to know how our child got sick so we can prevent it from happening in the future or why a colleague received a pay raise because we want one as well. We want to know how much money we will save over the long term if we buy a hybrid car or how we will live if we exercise daily. These are examples that identify a few of the relationships that we think about in our lives, but each shows the importance of a cause and an effect. A cause is something that produces an event or a condition. An effect is what results from that event or condition. The purpose of the cause and effect essay is to determine how various phenomena relates to the origins and results. Sometimes that connection between cause and effect is very clear but often determining that exact relationship can be difficult. For example, the following effects of a cold may be easily identifiable. Um, a sore throat, a runny nose, and a cough, but determining the cause of the sickness can be much more difficult. 
a number of causes are possible. And to complicate the matters, these possible causes could have been combined to cause the sickness. That is more than one cause may be responsible for any given effect. Therefore, cause and effect discussions can be complicated and they frequently lead to debate and argument. Use the complex nature of cause and effect to your advantage. Often it is not necessary or even possible to find the exact cause of an event or to name the exact effect. So in formulating a thesis, you can claim one of a number of causes or effects to be the primary, the main cause or the effect. And as soon as you claim that one cause or one effect is more crucial than the other, you've developed your true thesis. For this particular essay, I'm gonna give you two different ways that you can frame this essay. I want you to consider the person that you wanna be in 90 years. And I want you to consider the cause. Okay, essentially, if your eulogy and your mentor embody the effect you want to have on the world, what will cause you to get there? The other option you can frame this essay is, is to consider the effects that you may have on the world. If you enact the cause, what will the aftermath be in the effects? So let's talk about the structure and the organization of a cause and effect essay, because I think you at this point understand the point. Um, if this is the cause, this is the outcome. If this is the outcome, what are the effects going to be? Uh, but let's talk about what that structure looks like. The cause and effect essay opens with a general introduction to the topic, which then leads the thesis that states the main cause, main effect, or various causes and effects of a condition or an event. So you can either start with the cause and then talk about the effects, or you can start with the effect and then talk about the causes. So with this in mind and in light of our topic, I wanted to give you a couple examples with the same idea and the same outcome, okay? So uh, for example, when I did my lecture um, with my eulogy and I talked about my profile, I say my mentor, which is my dad, um, one of the words that continues to come to mind is intentionality, okay? That's the goal in my life is to be an intentional person intentional with each person I meet, intentional with my moments, intentional with my work, intentional with my time. Um, so I'm going to use that for this example. So intentionality, if I want to be an intentional person, if that is the goal in my life, what will cause me to become that person? Okay, so the way this thesis is framed is if the effect is to be intentional, what are the causes that help me get to that place? So here's how I constructed my body paragraphs. Mindfulness and prayer, eliminating screen time, considering my relationships and prioritizing people, and then a schedule. So what I want you to see is all four of these ideas, okay? Those are the causes that lead to the effect of who I'm going to be as a person. Okay, and then another way that I could frame this essay, and again, guys, this all goes back to your thesis. Whatever you say in your thesis, that is how you're going to frame this essay. So if I'm still going off that idea of intentionality, this is an entirely different paper. If I choose to be intentional, what will the effects be from that intentionality? Well, it's going to create a better marriage. It's going to create a better relationship with my children. It's going to create more intentionality in my church because that's an important part of my life, in my community, and in the people that I surround myself with. And what I would do here is I would go through those body paragraphs and I would show the various ways that these people um, or these groups are affected by my intentionality, okay? If, if that is the cause, the catalyst, how is it going to affect these different groups? So this is going to require you to think very critically. You are essentially creating a roadmap to the destiny and the life that you want to create. Um, please look at the outline examples. I have uh, kind of some bulleted points that I want you to fill out this week that I want you to consider. But when you think about this example, what I want you to understand is it truly all comes back to your thesis statement. How are you going to frame uh, this, this essay? What angle are you going to take? 
Um, if you have any questions about this, if you want to talk through this or talk through some ideas, uh, please do not hesitate to reach out. I'd love to Zoom or talk with you um, before Friday. Uh, I do want you to know that on Friday around noon, I will be leaving town and where I will be, there's not a whole lot of service. So I won't be checking my email very frequently um, over the weekend. I am excited to jump into another essay and I look forward to talking with all of you in our Zoom meetings next week. Um, again, please make sure that you're emailing me and coming up with some times that we can meet. All right, I hope you have a great day and uh, let's get started on another essay.